Hey guys, it's you Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series number 81, the Amazon exclusive Army Builder Cobra Eel. Why Hasbro makes Army Builder figures as exclusives, um, I will never know. It sucks. Um, I was able to get in an order early on. I know it sold out extremely fast, both on Pulse and then on Amazon. Came back in stock, sold out really quick. And then there was just a disastrous amount of issues in getting Amazon to ship this out. Multiple delays, um, people getting their orders completely canceled. It was just a complete mess. Like I only got one of my orders in. It's just a complete nightmare getting this but I got mine and I was lucky to get one that had the normal size neck apparently there's a QC issue where some have an abnormally long neck piece so it's like the wrong piece so just kind of crazy luckily mine was good and it's a freaking awesome figure I know people are like oh it's just a repaint of torpedo who cares it's not I mean it is but it isn't there's some new things to it obviously and then you know it's different color right but it's not a complete repaint there are some different things to it there's a lot of the same stuff of course but it is truly an awesome figure i had said in my review of the torpedo figure that he was my figure of the year overall any figure um he was my figure of the year i'm gonna be honest with you guys a little bit here the eel might actually be a little bit better than torpedo um, they're, uh, again, the similarities are there. They are not the exact same, but I think collectively these two are going to, would be like my number one. I think because there's a lot of, there are a lot of the same parts that I would just kind of lump them in together, even though that's not completely fair, but man, just two completely awesome figures that make me want to just, you know, start playing with toys in the bathtub again. Cause just really really good really 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 good um so i have the Foot Locker here for the cobra eel nothing special as you can see it just has the 81 on there you can see the art work of the insert there for the figure here at the box you see all that and it's like the opposite of the torpedo box right so not not that they're facing each other but they're on the like the same side of the submarine which is cool that they kept you know going with that side artwork of the cobra eel looking pretty awesome there and you can see the loadout on the back again number 81 um so cool stuff there but yeah just just an all-around awesome figure that i'm really excited to show you guys i've had it for a few weeks now or a week and a half about maybe a week I just haven't gotten around to reviewing a whole lot of figures and then getting in that Snow Serpent really pushed me to say, you know what, let me let me review this guy because I haven't even gotten to mess around with it as much as I would have liked. And it's an awesome figure that I want to share with you guys and you guys get to see how cool it is. So um, let's go ahead and get in for the closer look. Okay, so here is the closer look at the Cobra Eel. So he actually has a full helmet on here, whereas Torpedo actually had just kind of a mask, uh, scuba gear type thing. So it just kind of rested over his face and you can pull it off. So it's not a full helmet. Uh, Cobra Eel gets a full full helmet. So, he, you know, he's got his scuba gear, self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. My son was like, do you know what scuba stands for? And I told him, he's like, how did you know? I'm like, dude, because I'm an old ass man. But anyway... So here at the Cobra Eel, you have the breathing mask there. It just plugs into the backpack uh, like so. The helmet looks cool. We get this nice yellow paint up there to make it look like, or like a gold paint, to make it look like an actual like light that's lit up. It's not, but it looks really cool that they did that. The helmet is awesome. One bad thing about the helmet. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing. It's tight on there, so it doesn't look abnormally huge and like bad. But then at the same time, it's kind of like stuck on there like you almost sometimes pull the head off when trying to get the helmet to come off so you have to really pull on it but it works it works and then here you can see you have the the cobra guy you can just kind of have his eyes exposed as he has the full like mask on there uh which looks pretty good you know torpedo you could see part of his face because it's a particular named character was the cobra eels they're just generic henchmen these generic bad guys um, but it looks really good. Notice how, again, the neck is a normal height. The other ones are like extended up quite far. Looking at his backpack piece, you can see there we got a Cobra Eel logo. And then this looks, I think, some kind of jet pack. It looks like it has peg holes if you want to use some kind of uh, muzzle effects or something to, to kind of show. I would just think that this would kind of propel him through the water kind of thing. So that is pretty cool uh, there. Um, and then he does have the harpoon gun. This is the same that Torpedo comes with. The difference is the tie for, or that goes around the wrist is red on the eel and it is yellow on Torpedo. And then Torpedo's um, 
the torpedo end piece is spear piece is silver and the cobra eel it is gold uh, a little bit more straight on my cobra eel one it just depends on how you know it was packed in the box kind of thing um there uh the cobra eel does come with a uh comes with a knife this is the same knife that torpedo comes with but his sheath is on his lower left leg whereas on torpedo it is on his upper right leg um so it just sheaths in there we do have the flippers uh the fins for his feet um, they are the same as Torpedoes. In fact, Torpedoes actually has red. And I wonder if the red would actually look better with um, with the Cobra Eel, uh, maybe. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is uh, there. So, again, so, some of the same pieces. So, the the Harpoon is the same. And then the, uh, the Flippers uh, fins are the same. Um, some of the other parts, you know, are going to be new, like here on e the eel, we actually get, you know, these little electronics and things on his wrist, um, there, that is a di completely different piece from torpedoes. Torpedoes is an extra piece on top of the arm, uh, on top of the forearm. This right here on the eel, that's actually a sculpted piece. So there is another difference there. The Cobra Eel, looking at the shoulder piece, you get this gray armor piece. That is a completely different shoulder than, um, torpedo. There, the torsos are the same. Obviously, these this you know this harness piece is going to be different for each character. So that is the difference there. We get a painted on Cobra logo, of course. The hip pieces are different, as you could see that we get some like pouches um, on the Cobra eel, whereas Torpedo doesn't really have that. He has that belt there, but doesn't really have that. And then the legs are actually going to be. Uh, the same. So again, di you know, some different pieces, not a whole lot, to be honest with you. So the forearms are different, and then the hips are different, and then different head sculpts, of course. Um, and that's kind of it. So yes, a lot of the same, uh, but some differences. But yeah, he just looks really, really good, in my opinion, and his articulation is pretty good. So let's go ahead and check that out now. Okay, so for the Cobra Eel's articulation, he can look up that much. The head is on a dumbbell joint. It can look down that much. The neck does move on its own, so you can get some circular motion there, which can give you some good pivot and things like that. Full rotation in that head, um, of course. The arms, you can get the shoulder to go straight on out like so. Full rotation in there. There is a butterfly joint, but just kind of like the, the torpedo, it's not super effective. So, yes, you can get some motion going back. It's not really a whole lot. And then forward is basically nothing so you're not really going to be able to do any crossbody or anything like that um, we do get an upper uh, bicep swivel on here on this guy but you know what man my left arm he does not want to move We're, the right um, you do get some movement but that action that extra shoulder um, armor piece uh, there does hinder that so you can't really swivel it all the way out and then on mine his left arm doesn't want to swivel uh, like at all like at all and I'm worried to break it because there's no way I'm gonna be able to get a replacement uh, so that kind of sucks um, yeah I don't know I, I wonder the shoulder seems to be kind of stopping it a little bit but yeah that that doesn't want to move so that's that is a bit of a bummer get a double jointed pinless elbow you get that much bend there uh, wrist swivel and they do hinge we do have the vertical hinge on both of these they are both trigger finger hands for the harpoon gun which is good we do get an ab crunch on this guy so you can crunch forward on the cobra eel that much you can crunch back on the cobra eel that much there and then the ball joint at the waist you can get some tilt so tilt to the left tilt to the right which is pretty good and then lean back along with that ab crunch you can lean back that far and then lean forward with the ab and the diaphragm and the weight ball jointed waist get that much there swivel at that waist the hip piece is a rubbery piece so it moves nicely when you twist at the waist which is good the legs do have the drop down hip feature the legs can go out that far apart full on splits as you can see there you can kink forward very far Leg does go back quite a bit. You have an upper thigh cut in there. Pinless double joint to knee, which looks like that, which is really, really good. Solid. Um, just below the calf, we have a ankle swivel. Foot hinges down all the way. Hinge up. Ankle pivot. Peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So really good articulation, in my opinion, for a solid-looking figure. If anything, my biggest gripe is this, sh this leg sheath um, becomes very loose and just falls down quite easily. You just move it right back up, and then it'll hold in place. But it does fall down very, very easily. Yeah, there's just a lot of fun to be had between these two figures. And I mean, yes, they're they're, you know, 
very similar, but that kind of goes along with it. And it's nice that we kind of get bad guys to match kind of some of it here. So you got, you know, your, your diver there. So you have enemies to go against him. We got the Arctic bats. We got the snow serpents. We'll get snow jobs soon from Hasbro Pulse. So just a lot of fun with these figures. So the Cobra Eel, it sucks that it's an Amazon exclusive. It sucks that it sold out so fast. It sucks that these didn't have like a crazy amount available. Um, I heard that there would be additional supply available when it becomes in stock. So far, it's never gone back in stock again. Maybe it still will. I don't know. Hopefully, be people will be able to get their hands on it because, man, it is just really, really nice. Um, so hopefully you guys think so. But you guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of this Cobra Eel figure? What do you think of the Torpedo? Do you agree with my assessment that they are top figures of the year? I think they are. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.